Hey guys, today's video is a review of The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. This is my sister's copy that I've just stolen to be able to you show that I that we've got it. So, yeah. On with the review! The Perks of Being a Wallflower is the tale of Charlie, a young high school boy who is very troubled. The book focuses on Charlie's struggle with understanding things and fitting in, as well as the lives of his family and new friends, in the form of letters to an unknown pen pal. First of all, I quite like this book. I really relate to Charlie, as well as his friends Patrick and Sam, uh, because their struggles with growing up and understanding really speak to me. At times, however, I did feel like uh, Charlie was just a little bit too much like me, and I felt slightly disturbed, um, which may have slightly curbed my enthusiasm to the book itself. When Yesterday, me and Abby were discussing the book over lunch. Uh, we both described it as beautiful but horrible, and that is a very good description of the book. It is beautiful and horrible in equal measure, because so many things that um, Charlie talks about, and he states so simply, are just so bad and terrible, and it's like... It's got that dichotomy to it. Uh, when I first finished it, I didn't quite uh, get the ending because I miss I, I almost skimmed instead of uh, or sped read it. Uh, and in, it, but when I was um, only really realised the truth about the resolution, when I was che fact checking for this video, and I was like, oh my god, how did I not pick that up? I got it at, straight after. It was. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed it. Overall, I give this book three and a half stars out of five. Uh, because, as I said, it's horrible, but beautiful. I, I am slightly ashamed that it, it, it's taken me this long to get to reading it. Uh, I only started it a couple weeks ago. Uh, and took it slow and had long breaks in, in between reading. But... Come back tomorrow for my Doctor Who review! of tomorrow's episode. See you then. Bye. Think like a man of action. Act like a man of thought. Henri Bergson.